what's up guys today I want to show you how to make this grass as you see in it, as you see in here okay I will show you how to do it in Cino 4D right now let's go and as always I will put the project file in the link in the description for anyone who want it so let's just remove this and start from the start so delete delete yeah and let's delete these two okay now the first thing you are going to do is let's go like this it's drop cube and the cube uh, make it a uh, thousand the x thousand and the y is thousand two no a thousand okay and let's make the y twenty yeah I think yeah twenty or let's make it forty okay now we have this now we'll go to use the segment the y make it 50 the z uh, make it 50 the x 50 and the z 50 so we got this and this will make it better so let's go so now we press c on the keyboard so we could select and edit ok and now go to the top view ok like that ok uh, now you hold and press the left the left uh, click and go to this here and just go into the top view like this and select all the top okay first we are going to go to the select here not here from here go to here to the select and press C to be able to select it and now drag this like this so you select it all like that now go back and now we selected this just like this so now go to uh, okay simulation and hair object and add the hair now if you saw these are the hair right now so I'll make the long let's say like 50 or just 20 yeah, make 20 okay 20 is good now of course if we render it out you are just going to see some hair just going like here you are not going to see the grass yet so okay now okay now we have the hair now go to here and you are going to just increase this count I will go like 80,000 now if we render it ok it might take a little bit of time but the hair will be a lot more I'm gonna pause it until it's render. Now, as you see here, we have a lots of hair, and you could do it more. It might take a lot of time to render when this, but it will be good. So, if you want it more, just add more here, and just like that. So now we are going to make the dirt, the dirt beneath this. So double click here to make a new material 
double click in the material now here go add uh, here add a uh, new layer go to the layer shader and go to noise in the noise go into the noise and pick two dark brown color yes uh, here this could be like this and here uh, okay now this got to be so dark so this is kind of better and so, spectator here and and undo it so it won't shine because it's dirt okay do it like this and make it a little bit darker so this is better now this global selector here make it three three hundred now it's kind of better now okay what to do now N yeah now here so do noise so, as you see right now here so yeah go to layer and s spectacular here global uh, selector here and make it 300 too yeah this is kind of better and of course you sh change the color too uh, change the color no I think I'll undo that yeah this is better now take it to the cube here and now if you render it so I'm gonna pause until it's render now we have the kind of a dirt material here but now we're gonna have to make this dirt look like this hair look like a grass so go to the hair change the color to green color so this could be like this this green okay now the long here uh, the long should, should I think make it like 250 250 yeah and freeze here make freeze and do it 250 to 250 mm, or t just 200 it's kind of better kinky and oh clump what next what else think that it it so let's render it and see I'm gonna pause it until it render now if you saw we have kind of pretty good grass you're gonna have to play with the color so you get the color that you want make it more green make it just like you see what what is the best for you okay now let's uh, drop sky so it's look better so go to here particular sky and I'm gonna load the sky from here I'm gonna use this one okay sun so I'll make it uh, hundred uh, and thirty think this is good see the best look for you 
Okay, I'm gonna render it from here and see how it's look. How it does look. Yeah. So I'm gonna render it and come back when it's rendered. Okay, guys. Now it's kind of looking pretty good, but it's empty in here. So you're gonna have to do like a mountain, a house, anything that you want. So I'm gonna do like a mountain just for the preview. Go here and this landscape here. Okay. Here. Okay, so I'm gonna make it. think here so I could adjust it so I'm gonna make it bigger like that take it back make it wider and take it a little bit back no back it's like that you could do many mountains, I just want to do one. So now we're gonna have to make a material for this mountain. So double click here for new material. And open the material, I double click. So here uh, we are going to add a layer and go to the layer and shader and noise. And go to the noise, the noise here, and click this arrow here, and choose something that could be good for you. I think this is kind of good. Okay, this is good. Let's make this uh, like 200. Mm. And now this, I'm gonna make it gray the black one the white one make it gray okay kind of gray yeah uh, now go back to here to the layer and shader and add a new noise so this noise go to the noise and choose kind of good noise I think is good not bad so we make it this make it like 300 I guess no no 200 enough I just make it a lot okay 200 it's, it's enough it's enough so go to the layer and the layer here and change the blending option to overlay it I think it's good so close it go to the landscape and put it like that and let's render it and see I'm gonna come back when it's rendered now as you see it's rendered but the mountain kinda looks so dark so we're gonna have to put some light here so okay uh, we are gonna go back like that so we put the light okay bring light here okay and change the c okay and get back a little change the color to yeah a blue one here kind of uh, uh, not that shiny just like this let's see and now bring a new light and this light should be here and the colors make it like a nice orange color uh, yeah 
okay and now make a new light and this will bring it like here okay I guess here here is good adjust this light a little bit so it doesn't seem so much light so go back and render it again let's add the position here Okay, now let's render it, and after it render, I'm gonna come back. If not, okay, now it's kinda better, but look, it's too much light. So what you're gonna have to do is just go to the light and and move them away, far away from here this light move it far away up here just take them far from the until you get the light that you want okay these three lights okay now this will would be better better just play with the light just like you want and you could make just what you want here uh, the sky of course make the sky that you want it for the scene what you want to do and for the rendering sitting okay you're gonna have to add uh, global illumination illumination and ambient occlusion and global illumination okay they will make the photo look better and after it came like something like this you could take to adobe for photoshop and correct the color and stuff like that uh, i hope you like it and if you like it so uh, give hit the like button and if you want to see more of this just subscribe and just uh, i hope just you like it and see you next time so bye Thank you.